One of my biggest fans had a bit of a cheeky request. He said, could you start uploading videos on a schedule for us? Uh, well, I thought, that's a good idea. I'd like to do that, but I didn't have any ideas until actually YouTube, they started pestering me. And if you're a creator, you know, YouTube gives you ideas. Pestering me to um, make videos on my phone. So I thought, well, okay, I'd like to give that a go as well. So here's some quick videos. It's going to be a quick video series on, um, uh, we're going to call it Physics Error Thursdays. Okay, so every Thursday I'm going to try and add a error um, maybe something I've done to show you actually we all still make mistakes on uh, physics or just a common error that I've seen quite a lot of kids do and I think you'd benefit from knowing or hopefully maybe it'll be a bit of a physics fail, you never know. Right, and so today my first physics error Thursday is going to be about knowing your units. So many kids leave um, answers without units on and you can always work out your units. If you know a formula then you know the units as well. So, I'm going to give you two examples. If you didn't know the unit of little g, gravitational field strength or gravitational acceleration, then you can get the formula weight is mass times gravitational acceleration and rearrange it for little g. So, g becomes w over m. Okay, got that so far? Then, after you've done that, then you can use what you do know, which is the unit of weight. Let's say the unit of weight is a newton, you know, hopefully know that. The unit of mass is a kilogram. Then you can say, well, g, little g, is going to be w over m, so it's going to be a newton over a kilogram. It's going to be a newton per kilogram. Hopefully you can see what I mean there. If you know the formula, you can figure out the units. Here's another common one that people don't know. Dropped it. Which is the uh, unit for momentum. And momentum doesn't have, like, a made-up unit. You just use the units of whatever you have multiplied to make momentum. So the formula for momentum is mass times velocity. Uh, well, what's the unit of mass? Kilograms, what's the unit of velocity? Meters per second. So just like algebra, you stick them together, kilograms, meters per second. So that is how you can always get your units from your equation. And whatever you use, whatever units you used in the equation, then that is what the units your answer is gonna have. Make sure you always have units on your answers. Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people. Also, please go ahead and check out Gorilla Chemistry and Gorilla Biology. You can expect the same sorts of things, past paper questions and videos to help you understand topics. Thanks once again for watching.